Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to achieve a picture-in-picture -picture effect. Now this is an effect that you've seen from everywhere from news broadcasts, entertainment and sports shows and it allows you to bring on different images, video or even sign language interpreters into your broadcast layer it on top of your program video. So let's go ahead and dive in and show you how it's done. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster Mini 4K interface, and you can see above me here as I have my host on her virtual set, and what I want to do is bring in my input number eight over here, this weather report, over her shoulder as a picture-in-picture. -picture. So uh, there's a few ways to do this. Let me show you the easiest one first, and the first way to do that is by utilizing the downstream keyers on the TriCaster interface. So you'll see uh, below me here to the far right of our production switcher on the uh, TriCaster Mini 4K, we have two downstream keyers here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is you'll see downstream keyer number one, I'm gonna click on this drop down, and let me select my input number eight for my weather report here. And let's go ahead and bring that on here real quick. But oh man, that is way too big. Okay, so we're going to need to scale this down a little bit so that it will fit over her shoulder. Okay, so to make this a little bit easier, let me go ahead and throw up my mix effect number one on my preview row here. So I have these shots lined up. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to click on the DSK1 button here. And then you'll notice that I have a preview of what that downstream keyer looks like. Now I have positioning tools uh, within my downstream keyer so that I can scale that without having to interfere with anything going on over on input number eight. And that uh, the tool for that is going to be on this gear icon on the very bottom right on my downstream keyer number one. Let's go ahead and click that and let me move this over so we can see everything a little bit better. All right, so this is the, uh, the tools that I have available for me to use on my downstream keyer number one. So uh, what I want to do here is I'm going to turn my positioning tool on and then let me go ahead and grab my zoom function here and let me scale that down so you'll see in my preview window I now have a nice little preview of how that shot's gonna look alright so let's use this positioning tool and we'll throw that over here maybe scale it down just a little bit alright so that's looking pretty good there alright cool so now I have a picture-in-picture -picture for me to bring on so let's go ahead and bring that on screen by clicking on our transition button here and ta-da there is our picture in picture all right let me go ahead and take that off real quick to also show you that you can add uh, a few other elements in here like for example uh, you can add a border around this shot as well so within this tab you'll see that I have an option to uh, add a border to it you have three different presets in here uh, I've already chosen just a, a blue one here for example uh, that way we can kind of differentiate uh, what's going on in the background of her virtual set from the screen that I have showing up here. All right. All right. So that is one way to do it, but there is a nice little fancy razzle dazzle way to make this a little bit cooler. All right. And what we can do now is utilize the upstream keyers within our mix effects to achieve that same effect to free up the downstream keyers that we have over here. So let's go ahead and open up my mix effect number one. And uh, so uh, what I want to do now is you've seen like on a different broadcast, like for example, on the news, for example, uh, when uh, a, a, a picture-in-picture -picture shows up, what will end up happening is the cameraman or, or something will uh, basically slide that shot over so that the uh, camera, or so that the picture-in-picture -picture can show up over the shoulder of uh, your anchor and then slide back after that's uh, over with. So we can accomplish that exact same operation on the TriCaster using the upstream keyers on the mix effects and our comps. Okay, so first of all, let me go ahead and open up my comps here real quick. All right, so I don't have anything here uh, at the moment, so let's take a snapshot of this particular shot here, which is basically our, our home shot. Uh, so I'll go ahead and take a snapshot of that by clicking on this camera icon. All right, so now I have that preset shot saved. Now what I want to do is I'm going to use my positioning tool and let's drag that camera over here a little bit, all right, so that we can have room to bring on that graphic. So uh, this graphic that I have I brought in before, before it was kind of small because I had the shot kind of you know constricted in the because her, her shot was in the center. 
But if I bring this in now using those same uh, positioners here on my upstream keyers, I can now make that shot a lot larger so that I can see all of the temperatures, uh, et cetera, in this forecast, okay? So now I have that shot in here. Let's open up comps again, and I'll take a snapshot of that in number two. And now check this out. I can then go ahead and click on my comp number one, and now my picture in picture will fade away, and the shot will move over. And I can swap back and forth between those as well. So I'll click on number two and check it out. There we go. Now we have our picture in picture and a little bit bigger, but also we can move our shot over a little bit as well to make some adjustments for sizing, etc. So as you can see, this is a great way for you to bring on additional video sources or still images into your broadcast. Now for more video tutorials like this one, please go to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for more information on all of our new tech products, talk to your local reseller or go to newtech.com. Until then, thank you for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.